Right then, hello and welcome to new specie number six. Um, it's dragging on a bit. Basically, we're back down here just for a day session and for the first time on the new specie campaign, I can look at you and say we've actually got textbook favorable conditions. Um, usually we've had high pressure, snow, freezing cold, um, northeasterly winds, finally southwesterly, overcast, warm, low pressure, southwesterly. Um, it is finally looking good, um, but knowing that will probably blank. Uh, so, um, right, I've got some spot mix to put out over the spots, which I'll show you in a second. But basically, bun spice bottom bait to the island, bun spice pop up to sort of further around the side. Those are my uniform rods, the ones I always fish with, sort of like in terms of position and bait. I'm only on the bun spice today, no, no other flavours, um, just because I didn't have time to make anything else up. And then this one is because this southwesterly is pushing right down into this corner here. I think the, it might be stirring up the bottom. Hopefully, the fish will come on the feet, sort of down in the margin. So, this one back down in that little margin spot down there, which is sort of hit and miss around here on a bun spice uh, bottom bait. So, yeah, three rods. Hopefully, we'll catch something. Um, I'll be, I, I look, I, I'll, I'll, I'll put myself out there and say on camera, I'd be very, very surprised if we didn't catch something today. Um, but then again, you never know with carp fishing. So, you're all right then. Let's get the spotting done. Right then, I'm just getting the spotting going. Um, basically in here is my spot mix, very dry spot mix. We've got bun spice boilies, bun spice off cuts, bun spice chops. We've got bun spice pellets here that I've made, basically just normal pellets that I've uh, soaked in bun spice liquid. We've also got bits of corn and little bird seeds in there as well. So that should go out really nicely. We've got Fox Warrior spot rod here, the Shimano LX reel, and uh, trusty spawn always. always. Um, and we'll get a few few good spot falls on the spots because um, so I really, as I've said before, I really am pretty certain they're going to be feeding today. Fingers crossed anyway. Lift right up. then, first the fish, uh, middle rod. It's quite weird, I noticed about 10 minutes ago, fizzing over that middle rod spot. And I sat by the water watching it, wondering if it was sort of drops coming off the tree or whether it was actually fizzing on the spot mix. And the other rod's gone. Right, well, I'll try and do this quickly. His is flying off. Okay, I'll go and land his fish, but there we are. 8, 11, lovely common carp. Right, let's get it back. Right, I'm coming in a sec. I've run with the camera. Right, it's later in the day now. Um, about one o'clock, I haven't had anything uh, since the fish I showed you, apart from my lost one, uh, off the same rod, about sort of 20 minutes after the first one. Um, so yeah, just keep plugging away. Hopefully we'll get one. Okay, it's uh, later in the day now. It's uh, got, coming up to about probably nearly four o'clock now. Um, and just got myself a bottle of porridge on because it's uh, always important to keep yourself warm during the uh, colder months. Uh, on the bank, um, just nothing doing. I don't, uh, it's a weird day. It's sunshine, then rain, then cloud, all kinds of weather. We just can't seem to get the fish on the feed, um, apart from those early ones, of course. 
Uh, so as you know, as the pressure's rising, I think the fish are moving up in the water, and uh, yeah, they're just not feeding as much. We're hoping in the last couple of hours to nowish, we'll uh, we'll pick up some bites. Um, I see what I do anyway. Apple and blueberry Quaker oat porridge. I am a consultant for Quaker oats. Um, he wishes. And this is this is just new for 2013. Quaker oats, apple and blueberry. Don't be seen without it. It, it catches you more fish. I'm telling you right now. We've done studies on Horseshoe Lake where we roped off a swim. We caught more fish. We caught more fish because of this. Delicious. Even better with added alien slime from liquid baits. Here on German Watch, we found another. This time he's come up with an ingenious way of clearing his bucket. We just keep finding these Germans here at Wylands. I think they might have taken up residence. Okay. Okay, it's uh, come to the end of the session, unfortunately. Um, got to about sort of 5.30 now. Quarter start, two. Quarter to six, started to pack up. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, bit, a bit of a shame, it just hasn't really come together. Um, conditions were sort of on and off. They, they started really well, we had a couple of fish each out. Um, sorry, a couple of fish together, and I missed, I've missed two runs today. Um, I'm not happy with my rig, basically, the one I missed the runs on. Um, but I'll maybe talk to you a bit more about that next time. Um, and so yeah, it's just, hasn't come together, but at least we've caught, at least we haven't blanked and a nice couple of commons to uh, to go with the with the day, I suppose. The, the, it's just nice to get out. Um, so I've just gone around giving leftover bun spice to freezer bait, so I don't want to put it back in the freezer to a guy fishing. Um, really important in my opinion if, if you do end up with baits left over at the end of the session, especially if you've caught and other people haven't. I mean, this guy hasn't caught anything since he's been here. Um, and so really nice to go around and give him the leftover bait, you know, then it actually gets put to a good use and hopefully catch some more carp. Um, so yeah, well, thanks for watching um, and I'll see you on new specie number seven where a 20 will, will, will grace the bank um, for sure, we can't argue, definitely. <laughs>